Students, we're talking about the sonnet architecture, and what we spoke about um, earlier was about the sonnet signals. Students, um, we are going to discuss the sonnet devices in this particular discussion. Um, students, as you can see on the slide, we have got multiple devices which actually make up our sonnet network, and we're going to talk about three main devices. The first one is, is called uh, the add drop multiplexer, um, as per the slide out here. The second one is called the STS MUX or DMUX. I'll actually couple them as one device. And then you've got a regenerator, and then you've got a terminal. Students, so, uh, first of all, we'll talk about the STS multi multiplexer or demultiplexer, the STS MUX slash DMUX. Students, so, um, the STS MUX, it actually takes multiple electrical signals from our end user terminals. It's basically the, the MUX and the, the DMUX, uh, it actually makes up the, the end points of our sonnet link. Students, so, the electrical signals, it actually, they are multiplexed, um, by the STS multiplexer and they create the corresponding OC signal. So they take in, the signal out here is electrical signal. So multiple electrical signals um, are multiplexed using this MUX into our OC or optical signal, which then travels on our sonnet line. Students, the same role that the DMUX does it actually receives the optical signal at the end of the sonnet line and it demultiplexes de this signal into the corresponding um, electrical signals which are then um, transported to the end user terminals which are our destinations. So and then we've got the regenerator. Regenerator is simply a device that extends the length of our line and um, it's basically a repeater and how it works, it is it actually takes in the optical signal, and once it takes in the optical signal, it demodulates. So the process of demodulation and modulation happens here. So demodulation and modulation. So first, the regenerator takes the opt optical signal, it demodulates um, to get the electrical signal out of it, and then it regenerates this electrical signal, makes some minor changes to the header as well, and then it modulates this electrical signal back onto the optical signal, and it sends it on in the form of optical signal again. So this is um, your regenerator. It's basically a repeater. We have spoken and touched upon the concept of a repeater, and we'll talk about this concept further in the later discussions as well. So then you've got the add drop multiplexer, and this allows the insertion and extraction of multiple signals. So basically, multiple um, multiple optical signals are combined together or are multiplexed here. So this uh, takes uh, optical signals from multiple STS multiplexers, and then it, it actually multiplexes them together so that they can be transported over the high bandwidth optical fiber cable. So it's that single optical signal that is combined together by using multiple uh, source signals. It is um, regenerated also before it reaches its destination, and um, these signals are um, sent to the other regenerator, and from there on, the receiving STSD multiplexer, where they are, they are returned to a format which is usable by the receiving terminals. So it's lastly, we have got the terminals. You have got the terminals at the very end of this sonnet network, and they are devices that use the service of the actual sonnet network that we are talking about. In the case of internet, for example, a terminal can be a router that is using our sonnet network to transport uh, its data over long distances using the optical fiber lines that we have got. So it's just a little bit about the connections. We have got three different uh, types of connections that we use in a sonnet network. The first one is called a section, the second one is called a line, and the third one is called a path. A uh, section, as you can see in the slide, it's the optical link that connects two neighboring devices. Doesn't matter what those neighboring devices are. If we have got a neighboring device, which is a multiplexer to a multiplexer, two multiplexers, then that is going to call, be called a section. If we have a, a particular link which connects the multiplexer to regenerator and they are neighboring devices, we call that a section. And if it's a regenerator to regenerator, we still call that a section if they are neighboring devices. 
students, then you've got a line. Line is a portion of the network between two different multiplexers, um, SDS Mux and AdDrop multiplexer or an AdDrop multiplexer and another AdDrop multiplexer or an ADM and the SDS DMUX. So your MUX slash DMUX, the links between, the optical link between them is called a line. And lastly, we have got a path. A path is, to, is, is actually the end-to-end -end, uh, portion of your Sonnet network, students. So in this particular case, you'll see that our end muxing device is an STS MUX. And on the other end, we have got an STS DMUX and the optical link, end-to-end -end optical link between these, these two devices is called a path. Um, students, you will see in the later discussions, we'll talk about the different Sonnet protocol layers. And, and uh, each of the layers, we've got four layers that we'll talk about. And these three um, connections, uh, they, the layers, three of the four layers, they are um, three of the four layers at the data link level. They are actually named after these three different connections that we have in Sonnet. And each one of those layers takes care of the header and the encapsulation and the framing and all the other um, functions that we have on the three layers based on whether we have got a path, we have got a line connection, or we have got a section as our connection.